some evil in my eye and some thoughts in my head that were making me feel high. Oh, my head was a hoodie and my ears were some bass. Hey guys, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez for BPM and I'm hanging out with the Cat Empire. Felix, Harry, how are you guys? Very good. Good, thanks. So, new album, Cinema, coming out. How are you feeling? It's the album release day. It's my mum's birthday and I get the keys to my new house. Even though I won't be there for it, I'll be in Sydney doing promo for the new album. But uh, yeah, very exciting. So I just want to take it back a little bit. Uh, the year, I believe, was 2005, and I was working at a record store, and we were given this CD. It was your single, Hello, and we were told, you have to play this. And we just remember listening to it and just going, who are these guys? Like, it, you know, nothing has ever sounded like this before. So what are your memories of that time? That was when the band was just, you know, just sort of like breaking in Australia and um, it was great. I mean, considering where we came from, which was pretty much, um, you know, very, very sort of underground, jazz musicians playing playing parties or playing clubs or playing, you know, like really late night festivals or whatever. And, and then all of a sudden we had, um, you know, this, this track, which had just formerly been kind of just a party track. And um, it was just being blasted on the radio everywhere. And it was quite bewildering, but it was also like, it was a pretty fun time. I mean, it was amazing. We're, I think we got our first, um, first like big festival that year and like our first tour overseas. That it was great. It was a really cool time. And I read somewhere that you guys actually made your debut, albeit under a different name, at the Manly Jazz Festival in 1999. What was that like? Yeah, that's right. That was like our first um, kind of teenage proper band, and it was actually full of some amazing musicians. Um, you know, guys who have gone on to be in a lot of prominent. Australian bands um, were in that one, and um, that was the, the Cat Empire rhythm section, really. Um, Ollie on keys, and Will on drums, and Ryan on bass, and I was playing percussion. and So that was sort of the basis of, of um, the energy behind the band, and we had a great show at Manly, and a really cool weekend. It's a pleasure to meet you. You look like one incredible creature. Wanna treat you fine, let's dance and grind. Get so funky, flick that it's a crime. to mesh all these different styles of music together because you've got your jazz in there obviously your latin your pop your ska your you know you name it it's in there whose idea was it to kind of make all of those things stick together well you did really i suppose so well i i knew all of these musicians um and i knew how good they were i mean for instance like i met harry one night and i heard him play trumpet and i never heard anyone play trumpet like that before and and then i heard him sing and i'd never heard anyone sing like that before and so uh, I thought like um, he should he should be in the band and and so a lot of it was like writing songs for like quite a strange lineup of instruments and characters and so I did that in the first place. I think since then you know the band's actually evolved into something which uh, is developing its own sound, which isn't um, um, just attaching to genres and smashing them together. It's actually um, developing a sound that comes from um, the personalities and and some something different, and that's that's quite exciting for us not to not to be releasing another um, kind of genre of mixing album, but, but an album which sounds like The Cat Empire and which is actually quite, um, yeah, quite unique, I think. So what can people expect from your new album, Cinema? It's very cinematic, believe it or not. Um, no, no, it really is. Um, it's like there's a lot of kind of mood changes and scene changes. In a way, it does the job that the other albums did by kind of going from, you know, Romania to Africa, you know, with all these genres. It does that without having to travel anywhere. I guess it's... It still sounds like the Cat Empire, but it's also very different in a lot of ways to what we've done before. So what are you most proud of about the new album? I'm most proud of, um, of just the band's, the band's um, creation, I suppose. I think more than any other album we've ever done before. Um, you know, when we started this one, it was a blank canvas. We didn't, didn't know what it was. And um, Harry and I didn't come in with a collection of songs and say, this is what you've got to play, or this is you know, how it's going to work. We started off with no songs really. It's a very creative, group oriented um, exciting, surprising album. So with six of you, do you find that you butt heads quite often or is it all fairly harmonious? 
We often butt heads, although with six people in the in the band, there's a lot of people to butt heads with, you know, so you kind of share it around. But um, this album has been great. It's been like a real document of, you know, like it's been a really positive experience. It's been a matter of writing the music together and coming together and kind of um, almost rediscovering the, the joy that we have for playing music together after so long kind of touring and living in buses and being in and out of hotels and just kind of circling the world, which is amazing, but also very tiring. You've got to keep it fresh, you know, and you've got to keep it honest. And uh, I feel like this record has always has been about finding the way to be creative and, and be fresh as well. Our weapons were our instruments Made from our timber and steel We never yield I took conformity but stood like kings In a chariot that's riding on a record wheel So you guys have done a lot, you've released a ton of albums and singles, you've toured everywhere, you've won an ARIA, you've been on the soundtrack for an EA sports game. What is left for Cat Empire? What else do you guys want to achieve? Well, there was a time when um, when I had all of this like this sort of a list in my head of, of these things that I wanted to do with the band, and I saw its potential, and I sort of thought I wanted to play like big festivals and TV shows and, and everything. I kind of felt driven towards those things. And um, one of the nicest things about this album for me is is that um, we didn't expect to make an album necessarily. We weren't you know put under pressure to make an album. And, um, and we made it because we, we enjoyed the last tour that we did and because it felt natural. And, um, and for me now, it's, it's, it's quite a nice position that I don't, um, I don't really have that many goals. You know, the band's achieved a lot of the things and, and more that I'd, I'd hoped it would. And, and now it's just a, a matter of uh, enjoying the performances and, and trying to give as much as we can, um, you know, to each other on stage and to, to our audience and, um, and just embrace the, the band for what it is. And that's, that's a pretty nice goal to have that and whatever else happens is a surprise. All right, well, Cinema is out now, so congratulations and happy birthday to your mum, Harry, and best of luck with the move and thanks Thank so you. much for chatting with us, guys. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers.